Small town police chief working what he's calling a big city crime right now, and it's got people afraid to go outside alone at night. Our Dan Haggerty joining us from Walmart in the parking lot in Royce City, where this all started on Sunday. Dan? Yeah, 17 year old girl here, Doug, says she fought for her freedom back in this parking lot around the same exact time. Another call, similar crime happening over near this gas station. Brazen stuff. In the middle of everyone, a lot of people around, and people in this community now say they want some answers and some arrests. We're not used to having aggravated robberies and things of this nature. Chief Jeff Stapleton got the job in Royce City in 2012, and his officers got the call to this Walmart Sunday night when a 17-year-old employee walking to her car says she escaped an armed couple who tried to kidnap her in a fierce encounter. With a warrior's heart. Uh, she kept fighting through and she didn't quit. Around the same time, people from this neighborhood nearby called 911, saying another victim started knocking on doors, screaming about an armed man who stole her car near this gas station in that same Walmart complex. I told her not to go stop at any stores at night. Paul Sarver asked his wife not to go out alone and has problems with this Facebook post from police that didn't warn people about the crime until the next day with no surveillance video. I think it should have been released a long time ago. I mean, as soon as this stuff happens, it should be on the news. It should be reported. The, the police should be letting the citizens aware of it. Police tell us they waited in order to get the story right. And as far as the video that shows what happened here, I'm told it's too grainy to show anything. And the suspects, a man and a woman, apparently driving a gray SUV. They did steal the Walmart worker's car, which was a... Uh, 2008 red Honda Accord the other alleged victim from the gas station incident apparently disappeared before police could respond that's the latest in Roy City Dan Haggerty CBS 11 news